Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for a, well, an album review this time, and it's a long-awaited album review you've been waiting for that I said I was going to do. But I was actually taking my time getting up to this album because I was uh, wanting to review other EPs and two other albums as well. So this is for Maggie Rogers' second studio album, Surrender. That I just got done listening to for her new album. Uh, so I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this uh, Maggie Rogers album, Surrender. Which consists of 12 songs on the album. And let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this uh, album review. Now, it, I think it starts off pretty nicely. Or at least solid, in my opinion, for Overdrive. There's some production problems with the mixing and how it's executing, but other than that, the song didn't do so bad with her vocals. So not a bad way to start off the album, so 4.5 out of 5. It's a solid uh, intro to the album, I guess. <laughs> uh, That's Where I Am was a... Uh, it has this da 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 kind of thing again, and I honestly... It's weird that some albums' production is a little off at times, but uh, it just depends on who you're listening to, of course. So, yeah, That's Where I Am is getting a 4.5 out of 5. I like Maggie Rogers singing in the song, and I'm surprised there's, like, drum work in this album. And it's like a band playing with her and all that, so... I'm pretty intrigued with this album, so, in a good way, I guess you could say. So, Want Want is the next song, and I really enjoyed this song. It's pretty good, in my opinion. So, 5 out of 5, I like Maggie Rogers singing in it, and the beat is pretty catchy. I don't know if it's your kind of style, if you're interested in this artist, but some of her music... I remember reviewing Heard It in a Past Life three years ago, and hopefully you enjoyed that album review, because I think I did pretty good on it. I think I did, but I'm starting to get a little used to doing reviews, so I'm like, okay, yeah. I think in the 2020s is where I'm actually starting to do pretty good with my content, but still, Want Want is a pretty strong track so five out of five anywhere with you was a pretty strong song as well i think it was one of the regular songs on this album non-single so i really enjoyed it so five out of five maggie rogers's vocals sound good and some of the production and mixing is pretty strong in this track so i really liked it horses was more of a melodic song but it does pretty well with what it's going for. I think it was one of the singles off this album. I think it was the last single. And it sounds pretty nice for a majority of it until it gets into its heavier roots with the drum work. Uh, not too heavy, but yeah. Just to the point where it's tempo kind of uh, heavy, I guess you could say. Not that heavy. So it's more melodic rock stuff that she's doing with this album. And it's actually working, for sure. So 5 out of 5 for Horses. Be Cool was pretty strong track, in my opinion. Didn't hate this one. I like how Maggie Rogers is singing the song. And just the production and mixing is pretty well done. And so is the guitars and drum work. So really enjoyed it. 5 out of 5. Uh, Shatter, it has some annoying production in my personal opinion, but I don't hate this song, I just think it has its wonky moments where you could like it or you could not like it, it just depends on the listener, I guess, and sorry, that's my phone dinging away with notifications, uh, but still, uh, Shatter was a solid track, so 4.5 out of 5. Begging for Rain was a pretty strong track. It was very mellow, for sure, but it has a nice tone to it, and I really like it. So, 5 out of 5. 
some of her mellow tracks do pretty well. So, I've Got a Friend is the next song and has a few cringy lyrics. But other than that, I think the song is solid for what I went for. And I'll give it a 4.5 out of 5. There's one lyric that says masturbate in it and I'm like, I don't know if I care for that lyric. It's already cringy a bit, but other than that, the song didn't do so bad. Other lyric choice-wise and all that. <laughs> I think she put that lyric in there for a reason, but I don't know what reason that was for, but still. Uh, 4.5 out of 5. Honey was a pretty strong track, really enjoyed it, and I'll give that a 5 out of 5. I like the overall flow to the song. And how Maggie Rogers is singing the song sounds pretty good. So, 5 out of 5. Symphony was more falsetto, melodic kind of song with her vocals. And she, the tone in the song with her approach and the delivery with this track does alright. But, I don't know, some of the falsetto can be a little okay at times and bearable listening through it so I didn't hate this song I just don't know if it's a song I'd come back to so 4.5 out of 5 and finally different kind of world nice acoustic start to the final song on the album and it's not a bad track uh, the drum work kicks in towards the end of the song and the guitar work too the acoustic guitar work and I guess some of the electro guitar work depending on if it does come in, but I mostly heard the acoustic guitar in it. Sounded pretty good, so 4.5 out of 5 for this one. Some of moments in the track I'm not sure if I like, but other than that, the track did alright. Overall, production, mixing, and execution, I think Maggie Rogers' Surrender album was a good listen, for sure. Highly recommend you check this out if you haven't listened to it yet. And overall, like I said, Maggie Rogers' Surrender is a good album, in my opinion. Uh, it just depends on the listener that's listening to it and what they think of it. But if you're a Maggie Rogers fan, you're going to enjoy this album, for sure. So for a score for me, I'm giving Maggie Rogers' Surrender album an 8 out of 10. This was a good listen. The same rating I believe I gave Heard It in a Past Life. If I remember correctly, but I don't remember, honestly. You'll have to go watch the review for it. But her second studio album was good, too. So I'm surprised with this artist. She's pulling, putting out some good music. So with that being said, comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Maggie Rogers Surrender album, if you've heard it. And if you enjoyed this Maggie Rogers Surrender album... I uh, almost forgot that I didn't have my eyeglasses on because I'm so used to doing that. I just didn't want to wear them right now. So that's why I was just, my finger was going up to where I usually have my eyeglasses on. But I was just thinking, oh no, I don't have those on. <laughs> I'm being silly right now. Please forgive me. But if you did enjoy this album review for Maggie Rogers' Surrender, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can support the channel. I will have another review coming out for, uh, I think, Pale Waves. I'm going to be checking out. Uh, I heard a lot of bad things about them with their newer stuff. So, from someone named ARTV, which... That's someone I follow, but he's kind of stepping down from doing album reviews, like new album reviews, so it's a shame, and I wish him nothing but the best for his channel and his success on YouTube, but yeah, it's, I really mostly watched him because of album reviews, but he's still a good content creator for sure. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this Maggie Rogers sur Surrender album review. Sorry, I slurred my word for a second. I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. The Pale Waves 
track reviews for each song for their newer stuff is coming out tonight. But it's going to premiere on the 29th. So definitely tune into that. I'll have some actual track reviews coming out tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And stay safe. Take care. And as always, I will see you in my next review.